Okay, on this video, we're going to be going over four main things. The first thing is layers, second, picture in picture, third, audio mixing, and finally, voice over recordings. Now, these four elements are pretty much basic foundations and they are essential in any video editor that you use. So, let's go ahead and start with a new project. We'll just call this one layers. Okay. And so, let's go ahead and start that. And the whole idea of layers is that in your project timeline, you could have more than one element. Okay. Now, within PowerDirector, you could actually have a total of five different layers. And so, let me show you what I mean by that. So, let's go ahead and add our main video first. That is in our main project timeline. Now, here, you could actually add two more video or image elements. And finally, you could add two audio elements. And so, if you were to go back to your main project timeline, you see that there's this thing right here that looks like two different boxes on top of each other. But basically, it is your layers. So here, you could add different elements. You could add a title, sticker, video, and image. So here, we're primarily going to focus on the video and image right now because that's what a lot of people are going to use at the beginning. So let's go ahead and add another video here. Okay. And you could also add audio elements as well, but we'll get into that a little bit later. And so let's go ahead and see how that looks right now. See, so the default is it shows up right in the middle of the existing image. Okay. So here you could actually select it as I've done here. You could actually move it around. You could scale it as well. You could rotate it. So there are a lot of things that you could do here. So this is also how you get the whole picture in picture effect. Not only do you have a second layer, but you can also do the whole picture in picture thing, which is very, very popular with a lot of video creators. And obviously, we'll see this all over TV. And then when you actually play this, okay, it fades in and there is the image. Now, also here, whenever you are dealing with other elements in different layers, you also have different options available. So if I click on my main video element and I click on this edit button, these are the additional features that I have available to me. Okay. And then if you click on the second element, you have additional features such as fade. So you could actually have the image fade in or fade out. And you also have opacity as well. So you could adjust the opacity like that. Okay. And then another thing is deals with actual audio itself, which is going to get into the whole audio mixing. So here on each individual clip or element, you could actually adjust the volume as well. Okay. And you could fade it in or fade it out. And I'll get into audio mixing here in a bit once I get in the other elements. Okay. And so the thing you'll notice is when you play this, both of the audio is going to play at the same time. Okay. So that's going to sound really weird. Okay. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that uh, to actually adjust the volume on each different layer. But first, let's go ahead and add some more elements, more layers to our project timeline. So I'm going to add another video. Okay. So let's go ahead and add this booster right there. Okay. So now I have two video elements okay, and I can move that around. So let's move it right there. Okay. So you could kind of test and see how it looks like. So I could move this right here. Okay. And also, if you want to, uh, you could also add additional elements in that same layer. Okay. So say right here, I already have a video. I could also add an image right here as well. So I'm just going to choose something random like this. Okay. For serious YouTubers, Check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so here, not only do I have the video element, I also have the image as well. So you see how all of this goes together uh, later on once you put all these elements together. But the most important thing is you understand the whole foundation of layers. Okay. And now we have pretty much maxed out the video and image layers you could have three total including the main one but now you can also add audio as well so right there if you have any type of music or audio that you want to add you could add this right here i'm just gonna just add these these are just random so i'm gonna go ahead and add this one 
and you could preview it as well but we'll just add it right here and obviously you can't hear any of the sounds but I just wanted to show you how it works okay and so now you pretty much maxed out all your layers okay and as you can see there you have one two three four five okay so those are all the main layers that are available in power director now the thing is as i mentioned earlier each one of these layers has its own audio okay so that could be extremely distracting okay and as i did mention a little bit earlier you can adjust each one of these clips that have audio individually you could go to the volume or the best thing you could do here is actually use the audio mixing feature so you could go to settings right here and do audio mixing and it'll show all the different audio levels or if you were to actually edit this and go to volume you could all go to audio mixing right there as well it's the same thing and so as you can see here it shows all your five different layers and it shows the various volume levels and here you could play around with it and it's very simple okay so there you could adjust when the audio uh, gets louder um, you know how loud it is and then even in different parts of the clip as you go further you whatever you splice the clip like right there you can splice it you can adjust the audio settings here as well individually for that clip and so uh, this helps a lot okay this helps a lot in just getting the volume and the sounds the way that you want it because you could create some pretty complex things uh, with your video just by using all of these layers together and all the different audio elements now the thing is it will take some time for you to fine-tune it but the whole idea is the basic principles are the same okay so once you understand how layers work uh, you understand how to do the whole picture in picture overlay and you understand how to add audio you pretty much figured out like the majority of what people do when it comes to video editing okay so the final element of audio is you can actually add your own audio like voiceover okay so for example say i wanted to add a voiceover over this audio okay so i wanted to turn all of this audio off and so let's just assume that on my audio mixing i'm going to turn all the volume off okay so there is no volume it's just the video okay let me delete this one right here and say for example i wanted to add a voiceover to this to whatever video elements are there you could do that by going here and then choosing the music runs again or sounds and then you'll notice there's an option called voiceover and now it power director asks if you want to record the audio you can say allow and then whenever you are ready you notice a record button right here so here you could record it you choose which audio track and now it's actually recording the audio from my microphone okay so you could stop it and then it'll process it but this is a really awesome feature because here you could just take a variety of different video clips you could put your own voice over on there and you know it just gives it this uh, more professional feel when you add all these elements together or even if you just had a, a, just a bunch of images so there's so many things that you can do with that okay and so you could also save this audio as well and so there's a save button right there and so once it finishes processing you'll see it uh, just like a normal audio file in your timeline and so that is it on how to not only deal with layers uh, but also how to adjust the various volume levels how to do your own voice recordings and also within the layers themselves you could actually do picture and picture and as i said these are really basic principles of video editing and as we go further in this you see how all of these basic foundations make sense in order you to produce a lot better looking videos you know that have all these elements and you know it just gives it that little professional feel off from your phone and so that's it for this particular section so we'll go ahead and move on to the next video hey geeks if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on youtube and other places on the internet then check out my Go content creators group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there and the best part of it is all of this is free simply head over to the link below Check out my page and sign up for my Go Content Creators group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, 
be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and i'll see you outdoors on the very next episode